what is up and i cannot stress this enough my gamers welcome back to another jmr sense video today um it is like 11 p.m because i'm just really excited to show you my new boots um i recently got some tacovas and in order to fit this situation onto my on the screen i'm gonna have to confront you guys with the terrifying reality that is the rest of my desk just a little bit um i'm gonna film Getting these out of the box. <laughs> so this is pretty a pretty unwieldy situation. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I've already worn these a little bit. Uh, uh, I've already worn these a little bit. I just wanted to give you guys the unboxing experience. I went into a store and tried these boots on because, as I didn't know before, cowboy boots fit very differently than regular boots do. I'm a 12 in sneakers and 11 in boots, and I'm a these are a 10, and they fit correctly. I'm really happy I went to the store because now I know that. So these are the Warren in bovine. Um, extremely pretty you can see that they don't they won't be like this right when you get them because I have worn them around a little bit um, this is of course an unboxing and first impressions video which means um, I'm gonna wear them for a day or two and after that I'm gonna give you my impressions but I just wanted to show you guys getting them out of the box um, one interesting thing to note they kind of smell weird um, my friend described it as chlorine uh, I don't think it's quite chlorine. It's like leathery chlorine. If I had to guess, it's a mixture of the leather and then there's probably some kind of like, I don't know if these are chrome tanned or not, but some part of the tanning process, that chemical is kind of coming through. And then maybe they put something on them to try and make them smell new because it's not necessarily a bad smell. It just doesn't smell like leather, which I think is interesting. And it's kind of like pervasive. Um, like uh i was just wearing them like in the kitchen in my house and my mom was like what is that smell and i was like oh it's my boots um, but yeah interesting to note um they feel extremely nice i really uh like them so far um but yeah i'm gonna give more details after i've worn them uh for a couple of hours uh, start to wear them in a little bit um and then let y'all know so let's go do that Okay, it has been a couple of days with the Tacovas, and the first thing I'm going to do is widen up the frame a little bit because these bad boys do not fit. So, uh, it's been a couple of days with the Tacovas. First of all, I'm going to just go through uh, the kind of the anatomy of the boot. So, starting out over at the heel, we got a full leather heel stack with um, that is a rubber heel top sole piece i don't really know what that's called um i believe this right here is plastic or synthetic or something it could be leather um but it doesn't feel like it to me uh, but this is part of what i believe they use to give this counter structure right here um which is the counter is basically just stiffens the heel um moving on to the sole it is a leather sole and I mentioned the smell of it in the earlier segment of this video, but this, and I've gotten multiple opinions on it, smells like barbecue sauce, even after multiple wears. And even after I've, this is, um, I've got about two full days of wear on it, on gravel and asphalt and concrete and all kinds of different, uh, pretty rough surfaces. But you can see the Tacova's logo is pretty much gone. So if you're buying these for the logo on the bottom, um, know that that will be gone very quickly um, You can see they've got the wooden pegs, which I think is just cool one That appears to be metal which I think is interesting But the idea of the wooden pegs is they wear away at the same rate as the leather um, Moving on they say 270 degree Goodyear welted I call it, I would call it more 180 because uh, it just goes around Here not a big deal um, <laughs> I just think it's funny because doesn't appear 
to be 270. I guess it does cover most of the perimeter of the boot, but you can see it's got one line of stitching right there. And one interesting thing to note about the stitching is that if we get our other boot, and these are uh, handmade in Mexico, and you can see it's not super consistent around the perimeter of that toe. Um, like you can see, they're not symmetrical, um, which I, I, I think it's completely okay. It's more apparent in person when you have them on looking down at them, but they both have a similar shape in terms of the way they're asymmetrical. Where this side goes out more to the corner, and this side, this right side, cuts the corner a little bit more. And I think what that is, is just evidence that they're handmade because the same guy went and put this through the sewing machine and the way he held the boot, he held them both the same way and so you get a similar pattern. Um, that's my theory. Um, I think it's interesting. Um, back out to our wider view. Um, uh, up to the leather. This is an extremely oily leather. It is, I it's, I love ex extremely oily leathers. And this one is super oily um, to the point where, and one of the reasons I do love that is that if you get a scratch on them like that, then you can just rub it and make some heat and it'll disappear. See, there's no evidence of that. This is a bit of a deeper scuff, but as you can see, making some heat, this one probably won't go away completely, but you're really just moving that oil around in the leather and you can see it, it becomes much less apparent. And that is what a really oily top grain leather will do for you. Um, and of course, it's got a really good pull up effect. So these um, wrinkles, you can see, it lightens up where it wrinkles a lot because that's where the oils are moving around in that leather. Um, I love these like natural striations and everything. I think it's extremely pretty. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on these. And I think one of the reasons for that is that you don't see a lot of shoes with this full, with this uh, whole top piece being one piece of leather. I think that's generally what makes the cowboy styling so unique because it's expensive to get a piece of leather big enough to go over your whole feet, the foot. So you see, even in most dress foot shoes, they'll have a toe cap or something that breaks up that front silhouette. Uh, most cowboy boots don't, and it, so it gives them this really iconic look, which I just love. Moving up into the shaft, they've got this uh, flame pattern. Um, as you can see, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think one interesting detail is they use different colors of thread. So these threads on the inner part of the flame are actually darker than the threads on the outer um, border of the flame. So it makes it really interesting. Um, moving up, these pull, these little, I don't know, handles or pull loops are very useful for getting them on. Um, I, really, I use them whenever I put them on. Moving up into the lining, um, this is, it's got a full leather lining all the way down except for the counter cover, which you can see in there, that little white piece uh, in the back, which is actually unlined and your heel just sits right against the counter. And I'll talk about my thoughts about that in just a second, but first we gotta address this lining leather. Um, I believe that it's uh, heavily pigmented. You will probably won't be able to tell. But if we come in on this cross section, you see that top layer? Uh, that top layer is ex very solid. I think what this is, the leather itself, itself does have some top green in it. But what I believe this is, is they took a hide with more imperfections, more inconsistent, and um, they shaved it down really thin. It still has some top grain in it, which is good because it means they'll be more wear resistant. 
but then um, it had like they take lower quality hides with scars and stuff on them and then they just pigmented them which gives this really consistent um, color but it will this pigment will kind of wear through eventually which doesn't really matter it's on the inside of the boot but I think they were just looking for a really consistent color on the inside of the boot uh, which is why they did that and they didn't want to have to pay as much for um, something a leather that you'd use for top green like they used on the outside um, and then looking down into there oh, there's not a whole light making it down into there Let's see if we can reposition you see this counter cover right there right where your heel sits is actually unlined and it's just a piece of paper right there which i think is interesting and it surprised me um and i don't really know why they did that because they went through the whole effort of putting leather all throughout the inside and then they left that counter cover or that counter bare um and i'm not super worried about this these are more like these kind of boots are more meant uh, for like dressier or like they're their style their style boots so i'm not super expecting insane durability out of them especially since uh you got the leather sole on them but i really would have liked to see some leather on over that counter um because leather grips your heel a lot more and your heel slides on that a little bit and the guy at the store said that your heel is supposed to move vertically in cowboy boots um and maybe the the uh the paper there is meant to facilitate that um i'm not sure i think it's a really interesting choice i'll be really interested to see how that works out um and um moving into the vamp it's more of this lining material and it feels in the tip of the boot it feels like part of it's unlined but i can't really tell um uh, the last thing I want to talk about is these shoes have, these boots have extremely good art support, which I love. And it's kind of necessitated by the high heel because art support really helps lock your foot into here because you don't got laces to do it. And you got a real high heel and so your foot kind of naturally just wants to slide straight into the end of this. But with art support, it's like you got this big nub in the middle of your foot that, you, that your foot rests on. Um, and it keeps you much more secure in the boot. And as someone with really flat feet, I really appreciate lots of arch support. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my first impressions. Uh, like I said, I've worn these about two full days. Oh, one more thing. Um, there's a couple cases where the thread is coming up. You see there's a little thready boy right there. Um, one inside on the same loop. Him. he's shorter he's right there um see him a little bit and then the most egregious one is on the same uh boot right there you can see it's actually come out of a few holes um and so i'm really worried that that's going to progress and keep unraveling um i don't know if i'm gonna try and fix it or just leave it and see what happens probably just gonna leave it and see what happens because I don't really know what I do for that um, but I am a little bit concerned because obviously it's unfeasible for these to be hand sewn uh, for $300 um, I think you could probably do, if you searched around you could probably do a little bit better than $300 for a boot like this I don't think it's necessarily super unfair um, what justified it for me is that I've got a Tacova store really close to my house So I was able to go there and talk to someone and they and they said the the boot that I originally wanted I can't remember what it's called was a round toe. It wasn't this uh, French toe I'm pretty sure this is a French toe correct me if I'm wrong um, It wasn't this French toe and uh, The guy said look your feet are super narrow and those round toe boots are built on a wider last, so you'll be better served by a French toe. In hindsight, I'm really, really happy that happened because I really love how these look. Um, I lo love the French toe, but um, I think there's a lot of value in having a physical store, having, because I like I thought about it, and I, I said, I want to go look, and I could go in there and touch the boots 
and see them and feel them on my feet. And if I didn't want them, I could walk out. If I wanted them, I could have them that day in my hands. So I think there's a lot of value in that um, is where the value stacks up for these. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to wear them uh, more. I'll check back in in probably four or five weeks, probably at the end of the summer. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more wear out of these or whenever I feel like I've formed a proper opinion. Um, this is really just meant to give an overview of the product. This is not a review. I've not really formed any opinions. Uh, make sure you get subscribed. Um, we got more reviews coming soon. I got some Danners that I'm just gearing up to make a review on. But um, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. If you subscribed it, subscribe it. And, <clears throat> and I'll see you guys next time.